everybody, it's Thomas Lux Life. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Thomas. I love all things luxury, handbags, fashion, accessories, jewelry, beauty, anything that has to do with luxury. Please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that I know that you like today's video. And make sure to follow all my social media platforms, Thomas Lux Life on Instagram and TikTok. All right, today we're gonna to be counting down my top three most used handbags of 2023 and my top three least used handbags of 2023. Let's get right into it. I'm going to be going in order from my, my top three least used handbags to my top three most used handbags. All right, guys, starting off strong. We're going to be starting off strong on the least used handbags list. And I'm sure you guys are going to be so mad at me for this. This bag right here. This is my Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoire. I got this brand new from the Louis Vuitton store. My Estee in New York got this for me. I was on a waiting list for a really long time. And I got it right before Christmas last year. My mom wrapped it up and put it under the Christmas tree for me. You guys, I am so scared to use this bag. I... Like, I don't want to get... I've only used this bag... Since I got this bag in 2021, I've only used this bag to times i'm trying my very hardest i just get so scared i don't want to do anything to the patina to the leather on it this is literally guys it's brand new it, sm it still smells like how it was back in the store you guys this is like literally brand new from the bloomingdale's in new york and i am so scared to use it i really do another thing i don't like about this bag that i didn't think of was I don't really like the longer strap. I kind of do want to get the vintage version of this in the monogram. And I also want to get the vintage version of this in the multicolor. The multicolor and the vintage version of this bag. All right, you guys. You guys are going to be shocked also by this next least used pick. Yes, my next least used handbag is the Lady Dior. This is in the small size. It's emerald green nylon with silver hardware. My mom got this for me last year. Last year for my birthday, she got me this on eBay. Went through eBay authenticity, obviously, but she got this for me and I've only used it once since. I don't know why. I think it's because the opening of this bag is so small. I just had the dust bag in there and um, the eBay thing. I don't know why I have not used this. I honestly don't know if I'll use it much in 2024 either. This bag is in pretty much pristine condition. Emerald green with the Lady Dior top handle. It even came with the strap. I'm really hoping to use this bag in 2024 more. I think just the main issues are it doesn't go with a lot. Even though emerald green is my favorite color, I have two emerald green diamond pendants. Like, I love emerald green. I don't think this goes with a lot of my wardrobe and I would much rather use a bag that I'm going to use that's a little more neutral color, um, but I'm, I'm going to try to use this more in 2024 as I'm trying to get more into pops of color for 2024. All right, my next bag and my final bag for my top three least used handbags of 2024 is going to be this guy. This is the Chloe Paddington. This came out in the early 2000s. A lot of celebrities had this bag, okay? I want this bag. I love this bag. However, I want it in a smaller size. My mom got this for me for, for Christmas last year. We got it at a really good price because they're not very popular anymore. It's in silver hardware. Another thing, this bag, you guys, this bag is so heavy. This is a workout. If someone carries this bag on the regular, I'm going to give props to you because this bag is heavy. I'm, my arm's literally getting tired by holding this. This bag is so heavy. It's because of this giant chunky lock. If this lock was not here, this bag would be lightweight. This lock weighs so much. It's so much hardware. Here's the inside. The inside is like pristine condition. There's nothing wrong with this bag other than the fact that it's heavy and I really want to get it in a smaller size, one that's maybe a little more manageable to use. Other than that, I think this is a great bag. I love this bag. It's just, it's a little heavy. It's a little more on the heavy, on the larger side. And I really want to get it in a size that's a little more manageable to use. Also, if you don't put anything in it, it literally just sits flat like this. That's the type of leather that is used on this bag. And it's, I love slouchy bags, but I don't like slouchiness to where I, it flat, sits flat like this. 
All right, now on to my top three most used bags for 2023, and I hope that they get into the least used category for 2024 so I can use some of my least used bags that go into my most used bags. However, that's probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna hope. All right, guys, so my first most used bag for 2024 is none other than my Gucci Marmot in gold leather. This, this is the mini size. A lot of people don't like this bag. They say it's old. It's out, not old, but it's outdated. It's overdone. And I don't, even though that might be true, this bag is such a staple in my collection and everybody's collection. It's black, um, black leather, gold hardware, antique gold hardware. You have a snap closure. This is my first handbag in my collection. Here's the inside. I mean, this bag is just so awesome and amazing. I just love this bag. I don't know what I would do without this, but this is my only black bag in my collection and I'm so happy to have it. This is such an amazing bag and I really do recommend it to everybody. You can get these at an amazing price on the resale market. Just check Real Real Fashion File, eBay, local consignment stores. These are just great, great bags and it really does fit a lot. I got the mini size. It's perfect for me. This is such a great bag to have. All right, my next most used bag for 2023 is this. This is the Gucci Suki top handle in this like most like when I saw this bag, you guys, I had to buy it. This bag is so amazing and awesome beautiful gucci suki pebbled leather the inside it's just so amazing i just love this bag i have an organizer in it from um from organize my bag i do have a discount code with them look this bag even came with the original gucci the original gucci leather sample from the um brand so that was super duper cool so this bag is so awesome it's a staple in my collection it's never going to leave i just love the color of this bag. I just like every time I look at it, my face is in awe. All right, my next most used handbag for 2023 has quickly risen to the top of my list. I just got this bag maybe a month and a half ago. It is none other than the Chloe Marcy top handle bag. Now, you guys might be thinking, Thomas, this is like not your bag style, and you're right, it's really not, but it's really growing on me. I love this bag so much. The thing that really stood out to me about this bag is just the leather of it, the, the color of it, and also these top handles feel so good in the crook of the arm, in your hands. They feel so awesome. You have a little gold tassel that hangs down, a flap up here, which I don't really use to flap, zip top closure. I have the dust bag inside of it right now. The only thing that I do not like about this bag is a zipper track, kind of like a jacket. You have two different tracks, so if you open it all the way, it is a hassle to put it back together. It takes so long and because I have no patience at all, it I get really frustrated. So I try not to open it all the way. But yeah, this is a great bag, you guys. And I really recommend it. It's in pretty much pristine condition. The only issue of it is it has this little mark down here. The person got it as a gift, never used it. Um, the plastic was still on the hardware when I got it um, on the back side and on the zipper inside. And never been used and I got it for a really good price. So I'm really happy about it. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my top picks for 2023. And I hope we have many more top picks for next year with new bags, new things added to my collection coming very, very soon. And thank you guys so much. I'm really gonna try to be active this year. Make sure to follow all my social medias and bye guys.